it starts actually with the video image from the Batmobile's recorder of uh, Superman shooting the the laser at the right. giant rocket. That that's how we Warhawk. ended part one. No, that's how the first one. St that's how it starts. He's showing the rest of the Justice I'll take League. Take your word for it. Yeah. You know better than I do. He's showing the rest of the Justice oh, League. I can't right. yeah, remember yeah, yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. And Bart is the one who says, "I, I can't believe this. Yeah. I know less about your vehicle than and I do." Warhawk about you. comes wow. in, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah he shows yeah. up. Yeah. 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 So he was. He dead disobeyed for me. Barely a I like that. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Wow, that's scary. I remember those lines. I was going to say. <laughs> I remember Shit. those lines. That's really <laughs> scary. Boy. Boy. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? I'm trying to see what's going on in the mind of this thing. I'm the only one who can do it. Starro, yeah. Uh... It was a throwback to that Lobo episode. It was, you know, all built around that little sideways joke in the collector's uh, ship. You know, you see the Starro yeah. in, in, a, in a little uh, tube. It had nothing to do with the fact that Starro Star was the first Justice League villain in the comics? Or did you just realize that after the fact? Kind of after, after no, it was the actually fact, yeah. Superman cleans out the cage and Starro just jumped on him yeah. at that point and that was it. Okay. Basically, that was yeah. the backstory, supposedly. Yeah. Something as dopey as that. Yeah. <laughs> I do wish we'd change that one line where she says, Aqua Girl says, it's been on him for years. It's like, that's the part that drives me nuts. And then we actually flash back, and it looks like he's he's wearing like the old Superman the Animated Series costume. It's like, wait a minute, Starro has been on Superman since Superman the Animated Series. It's like, oh. right? I thought uh, it was no, so it's the same costume it's after a, Justice League. You I know, thought it after was Justice Black League. That's the way I yeah. prefer to yeah. think about it. Yeah. I just I don't like the idea of Starro being on Superman for like twenty years. No. You know, uh, it's like yeah, I, I I assume he wore that costume up until like like right before Batman Beyond began. Yes, and then so, he changed it. That and just, then he got the that suit. bugs me. Starro gets on him and says, hey, how about a new wardrobe? And he goes, all right. And then yeah. about a week later, the episode See, happens. I think he's in the black and white suit when no. Starro jumps on him. Mm -mm. No, he's wearing the red, yellow, and blue Before suit. You're wrong once. You For sure? once, you're wrong. Before I think we so. were 50 years ahead. Batman Beyond is 50 years after, oh, yeah, our yeah. current continuity. Yeah. That is my law. No, That I... is my rule. That any F Batman Beyond is always 50 years from now, whenever now is. Right. I still think he's in the black and white suit when he gets, when he gets jumped on by Starro. I don't Starro. think he is. Well, we'll have to oh, we'll have to, we're going to have to check that out. Well, the real reason you did the black suit is it was easy to animate. It was actually, it looked good when you animated it most of the time. Yeah. I mean, that's why you did it. Which, what, Superman's black yeah. suit? I just, wanted to, I just wanted to have some cool threads. Yeah. I just wanted to, you know, spruce them up a bit. What's the top speed on this thing? Mach 3. Is that faster than a speeding bullet? <laughs> I remember when we did the uh, the music on this show, um, Chris did a really interesting thing where uh, Superman's chasing Batman across the, the frozen tundra, right. and he's playing the Superman theme, but it's like really off kilter and, and not necessarily evil, but it just sounds wrong. It just sounds weird, and, and it's all like in minor chords and stuff, and um, it's just really cool and creepy. And uh, um, was it Adam Van Wick's idea to have Superman flying Upright yeah, at that yeah, point. That was one of the first times we did that. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, it really it cool. makes him because normally we're so used to seeing him flying horizontal, yeah. and there he's just standing straight up and just kind of like levitating. And it was like, wow, that's weird. In a way, I felt really bad in retrospect about this episode because when you were doing Justice League, I was thinking like, well, they'll probably work Starro in at some point, and I go, no, well, already did Starro, and we have to keep him away because. Uh, because there's a continuity problem. And yeah, I think that? Starro did come up in conversation several times while we were working on Justice League. But yeah. you know, I was never a huge Starro fan anyway. So no. it's like I, you know, I don't regret not getting to use him in Justice League. I mean, it's kind of like, I don't know. You, you need all seven of those guys to fight, you know, giant starfish. Yeah. You know. 